Crew 7 here from Aaron Tide Gaming. In today's video, we will go over how you can unlock all the different endings in Code Vein. There are a total of three different endings, and they differentiate based on how many of the successors you kill or you rescue. The first ending is the bad ending. In order to unlock this ending, you have to kill all the four successors as you normally would and when you are in the memory dress of the successor you will have to go out the door. Don't interact with the statue and go to the extra unique blood code. And then we have the second ending which is the normal ending. For this ending you'll have to save at least one successor here. To save any of them you'll need to find all the vestiges that are related to that character's blood code in that area that takes you to the boss. And last but not least, we have the Dweller in the Dark ending, in which you will have to save the four successors, and also find all the vestiges of Eos. So you will have to explore the Sand Crown, the Cathedral of Sacred Blood, the City of the Falling Flame, and the Crest of Frozen Souls. Save the successors by fighting as you normally would, and being in their memory, interact with the character when they become a statue and touch the restore memory option to save the successor. Head to the outside of the crypt and in the final area, the provisional government center. Once the battle is over, you can find the vestiges. If this video helped you and you want to see more content, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to Aaron Tide Gaming. But as always, thank you for watching Aaron Tide Gaming and have a great day.